Hi, boys and girls. I found a wonderful book at the library that I'd like to share with you about birds. It's called Mama Built a Little Nest. It's written by Jennifer Ward and illustrated by Steve Jenkins. And it tells us about how different birds build their nests. Can you imagine building your nest on cactus? Some birds do. I'll bet you can guess already what these birds are. Mama built a little nest inside a sturdy trunk. She used her beak to peck, 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 the perfect place to bunk. These are red-headed woodpeckers. And it tells us tree hole nests, also known as cavity nests, are created by the male and female woodpecker. So they build their nest together. Mama built a little nest, a cup so wee and snug, with walls of moth moss and roof of sky and silky cobweb rug. They do look very snug in there. A hummingbird makes the smallest cup-shaped nest. It uses spider web so the little nest will stretch as the chicks grow. Well, that's a very good idea. As the little birds grow, the nest stretches to fit them. Now this is an interesting one. Mama built a little nest. Well, actually she didn't. She found one that another made, and then she laid me in it. Hmm. So, not all birds build nests. The cowbird and cuckoo bird find a nest built by another bird species. They lay their eggs in it and fly off, leaving their eggs in the care of the bird who built the nest. So, some birds lay their eggs, fly away, and let another bird hatch their eggs. Ah, penguins. Mama built a little nest, but daddy helped out too. They placed my egg upon his feet. That's where I hatched and grew. You see the egg on his feet? Even though they live where it's very cold, the father penguin tries his best to keep the egg warm, and that's where it hatches. The emperor penguin uses a living nest, the father penguin. The father uses his beak to roll the mother's egg upon his feet quickly so it doesn't freeze, and very carefully so it does not break. There it stays buried under his tummy folds for about 60 days, maybe two months warm and protected. Can you guess what these are? Mama scraped a simple nest upon a craggy ledge. She tucked me safe within her wigs, wings until my time to fledge. Because this little bird could be a fledgling. Certain birds, such as the falcon, create a nest upon a piece of a high ledge. Up, oh, and there would be the father bird bringing back dinner, a fish. Ah, oh, there's that cactus we saw at the very beginning. So daddy built a little nest and then he built another and another and another, hoping to impress my mother. Hmm, let's find out what that means. That bird is a wren. Like many wrens, a male cactus wren builds several dome-shaped nests to attract a female. And if she likes his nest, she will have babies with him. Now that's a very interesting nest. 
Mama built a little nest. She used her beak to sew. A woven nest of silky grass, the perfect place to grow. It says, weaver birds create very detailed woven nests by sewing and weaving nesting materials together. Look at that, Just weaving them with its beak. Upside down even. Ah, who is this? Who, who indeed? Mama built a little nest by digging out a burrow. It was a hoot, <laughs> our little home, a safe and feathery burrow. The burrowing owl nests underground in a burrow nest. It can dig its own burrow or use one that another bird made. I guess it kind of recycles. Oh, and here is a duck and its nest is right there in the water. <clears throat> Mama built a little nest. She gathered twigs that float and placed them in the water to create a cozy boat. Grebes create a floating nest on the water and anchor it to water plants. Well, I'm not familiar with grebes, but maybe that's something you and your family could look up. Hmm. Mama built a little nest, she made it on the ground. A simple nest, not very soft, with pebbles smooth and round. A nest made of pebbles. No, doesn't sound very cozy. This is called a shorebird. Many shorebirds create scrape nests on the ground. Their eggs often have colors and patterns to help camouflage them with their environment. Hmm, so the eggs blend in with the rocks so that predators can't find them. That does make a lot of sense. <clears throat> Daddy built a little nest. <laughs> now don't gross out with spit. Oh, who would have thought that spit would make the perfect place to sit? That is kind of gross, isn't it? <laughs> the swiftlet makes an edible nest using tube shaped saliva which hardens in the air. Well, just makes me glad I'm not a swiftlet. <laughs> well, I really like this book. So if you want to get it at the library, again, it's called Mama Built a Little Nest by Jennifer Ward. I think it's great. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you soon.